Tonight here in Womanby Street, one of the biggest names in rock music will play at the Fuel nightclub. They were Thin Lizzy, but after years of touring under that famous moniker, they decided to change their name to the Black Star Riders to record some new material. I spoke to members of the band who told me about their evolution from the famous Thin Lizzy to the new Black Star Riders. Basically, we toured the Sin Lizzy for a number of years and had a lot of success. We wanted to record new music. We didn't feel it was right or proper to put it out on the Thin Lizzy moniker out of respect to the legacy and the memory of Phil. It would have been 30 years since you know, a new Lizzy album. It just didn't seem right as fans for us. Also with Scott, um, Goran being there since you know 74 and being Phil's best, best friend, as it were. I think when it came to the crunch, we decided the best thing to do would be record under a different moniker. So Black Star Riders was born and uh, we hit the ground running. You still have that core of Thin Lizzy fans, very faithful fans following you as well, don't you? Yeah, they've been really great. You know, we, uh, we talk about it often, how they were, they've just been incredibly supportive from the beginning. You know, when we released All Hell Breaks Loose two years ago, very supportive and, and it's just been, you know, repeated with the killer instinct. So absolutely we're grateful for that. Which you recorded in Nashville. Uh, originally, it was going to be with Joe Elliott from Def Leppard. But what an experience was that? How, how good was that recording it out there? Well, it was great. You know, the, our producer Nick Rascalinix just happens to live there. He's got a great studio, and I think it just simplified things for everyone. Um, you know, we made the first album in Los Angeles, and there's a lot of distractions there, um, not the least of which is the traffic. <laughs> so. You know, Nashville was a good environment, and uh, I think everybody in the band felt like, you know, it was a good focused situation, and, uh, you know, we would certainly uh, be interested in working there again. It's a real music town, isn't it? It is. I mean, it's, it's, it's built on music. That's its foundation to the core, and uh, you go everywhere. Everybody's a musician. Everybody plays, from the local taxi driver to the guy mm -hmm. flipping burgers in the, in, in the burger shop, you know. So, and they're all extremely talented. Um, so you're surrounded by it, and you can't help but absorb that, and, and, and it's, it's a very inspirational place. Now here, here we are in the Fuel Club in Cardiff. The new album's been a big hit, made the charts, and you're playing the Download Festival soon to a huge audience. How excited are you about that? Great. I mean, I mean, I'm really blessed and, and, and spoiled personally. When I, this is the sixth time I've played it over the years, which is inc incredible. I, I, going there as a kid, as a fan, and always dreaming about hitting that stage to actually, you know, have graced it a few times now. It's a very special day, and it's always magical. It's a great feeling. It's almost like it's kind of like the same feeling you get when you're a kid at Christmas. You have that feeling with you all day, that excitement. You see people you haven't seen for years in other bands and people you work with, and it's just a great coming together of musicians and, and fans. Obviously, despite the, the Thin Lizzy legacy, it looks like the Black Star Riders, the, f the future looks so good for you guys. I mean, it's, what's next? Well, we've, um, you know, we're already writing, writing some new stuff for the next album. Um, you know, we've got, we're certainly looking forward to this uh, tour that we're doing at the end of the year with Def Leppard and White Snake. That's going to carry us all through the UK. Um, it's going to be good for us. Um, yeah, you know, we just want to, we just want to keep building this thing. We, I don't think we could have predicted that we would be as well received as we have been, and we're certainly grateful for that. And we realize we have an opportunity to build it, so we want to keep uh, keep cranking out, you know, solid records as, as often as possible. So the name change for the band has been a huge success. Tonight has been an acoustic warm-up for a big gig at the Download Festival where the Black Star Riders will play to more than 100,000 people.